Hello everybody, I'm Joel, where I do reviews, help, funny, and much more. And this is my friend Joseph, which does gaming, and my friend Deegan from school. Hello, what's up everybody, it's Joel back with another video, and today I'd just like to share with you guys uh, my current collection of PlayStations, or my family's current stand-in collection of PlayStations going from the... Um, original PlayStation had to uh, the PS4 that we do most of our gaming on and I'll go ahead and show all of the power cords and the things that they use to transmit um, the audio and signal to the TV as well as what they use for power. I think I already said that though. Um, and what they look like on the main menu on a TV. So yeah, let's go ahead and move over to my bed and take a look at all the PlayStations first and then the power stuff and then the TV. So first off, this is the original PlayStation that was featured in one of my sister videos a while back. So here you press to open to put your disc in, and then that just clicks shut, and then there's the power and reset. And then the, this one was listed as a towel at the store. And then there's the back, there's the power, there's, I think those are the things that transmit to the TV, and whatever that is. And then up on the front, there's your memory card slot, and I think that's where you plug in your controllers. So yeah, that's the PlayStation 1. Moving over, this is uh, the uh, PS2 Slim. That was my aunt's that she didn't want, so I inherited it from her. So you press here to open to put your disc in. Then that just shuts like that, and then there's your power button right there. So yeah, there's the front. There's your memory card slots. There's your gaming slots and the USB outlet. There's the back, there's the power, it's, that's the port to transmit to the TV. And yeah, that is uh, PlayStation 2. Seems like Meg has come to say hi. I think she's interested in my mic cable. And then uh, up right overhead of the Play PlayStation 2 Slim is the PS2, like the normal version. So here is uh, the power button and the eject button. And then... Right here, there's your memory card slot, and then there's the controller outlets, two USB ports, and yeah, that's the front, and here is the back, and this PlayStation is currently over here for maintenance, but I'm not sure if we keep it or not, but as I said, and since it's over here for maintenance, it is in two pieces right now, so if you ever wonder what the inside of a PlayStation 2 looks like, that's what it looks like. And then this should just slip back on, something like that. And then, moving over, this is the PlayStation 3. We don't do much gaming of any sorts on this anymore. Um, we mostly use this as our DVD player in the living room now. So, yeah, there's uh, the power button and eject button. Two USB ports. And, yeah, that's the front. And then, you can see it says PS3. And then here's the back side. There's the power cord, and this is what these guys use to transmit to the TV, as I think. There's the wonderful HDMI, and here's the only PS3 remote I could find. It's this cheap, like, light up knockoff thing that uses double A's to work. So yeah, that's the PS3. And moving over, this is the crown jewel of today. This is the PlayStation 4 that me and Joseph do most of our gaming on, so most of the LEGO games. Um, Disney Infinity and all of that goodness. So if you've ever watched a live stream on any one of those, it's going to be on this. So up at the front, it says PS4. There's the two USB outlets. There's the eject and power button. And there's the disc slot. And on the back side, once again, there's the HDMI and a whole bunch of other ports. There's the power port and... Yeah, that's the PlayStation 4, and next to it is, um, our three PlayStation controllers. The reason we have three is because originally I would play with this one, and Joseph would play with this one, and this one seemed like it didn't work because it wasn't charged, but we didn't know that it wasn't charged, and we thought, and since it wasn't powering on, that it was broken, so while after that, we went to get this controller, this is the current kind of controller that I use, this is my completely red one, and this is like the updated version, so it lights up across here when it turns on. I'll show that later in the video. And then here's the blue one. Each of these controllers have the finger things on them. 
And yeah, there's our three controllers. So now let's go ahead and look at what these um, consoles use to uh, power and connect to the TV. So this here is what that there and that run on. This is the normal power thing. And actually, as a matter of fact, the PS3 and the PS4 use the same thing. So, depending on where you live, this may be right here. This is where it connects to the wall. And then this is what connects into the PlayStation itself. So, yeah. Now, I'll show what um, the PlayStation 2 Slim uses. So, here is that... Once again, this could vary depending on where you live. That's the part that plugs into the wall, and over here somewhere, right here is where it plugs into the PlayStation. Right there. So, that's that. And now, here's what they use to plug in. So, this, 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 and that, I'm pretty sure that can use this. This is, I'm pretty sure this is, um, these are audio, and this is, like, the picture, the red one. And then here's the part that connects into the PlayStation, or the console. So, there's that. And then here's my personal favorite, because it's extremely easy to use. Here is the HDMI cord, so they can see it says HDMI. It there and then that plugs into the TV or that or that or any console really and then one one side plugs into the console one side plugs into the TV it's as easy as that so yeah now let's go ahead and take a look at these things on the TV so I've got the PlayStation all hooked up down here right there that's the transmitter and then that's the power cord so bring the tripod up to there, just press the power button, and then a quick green light comes on. So, that's what it looks like. And that's the main menu. Now let's move on to the PlayStation 2 Slim. So I've got the PlayStation 2 Slim all connected, so now let's go ahead and just turn it on. Right there, and now if we look up at the TV. There we go. So that's, well, what I can get as of this moment. There, that's a little bit better. So yeah, that's what that looks like. You know, for the PS3. So the PlayStation 3 is all hooked up. I'm going to try it with the um, transmitter that the PlayStation 2 Slim uses. So now I'll go ahead and look up at the TV and turn on the PlayStation 3. So I've got the PlayStation 3 connected with the HDMI and the power and now let's go ahead and power it on and take a look up at what happens on the TV. I put a piece of tape over there where it says some personal information when it powers on. And see, it says PlayStation 3, PlayStation 3 twice. So, so yeah, it, that was a warning right there. And then, yeah, that's the home screen right there. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, PlayStation 4. Got the PlayStation 4 connected with the uh, HDMI and the power cord. So let's go ahead and power it on. And here's the beep again. Same as the PlayStation 3. And then, I like that, the blue light that spans across the top of the PlayStation 4. Whereas, the other PlayStation just have a little light. Okay, nothing happening yet. Bit curious. Oh. Um, well, they can see. It's checking the system storage, and it's telling me not to turn it off. There we can see the PlayStation logo right there. 
and the home screen should show up. So yeah, that is what it looks like when you power it on. And let me go ahead and sign in real quick and I'll show you what the home screen looks like. So here's the home screen of the PlayStation 4. Once again, I've put the tape in two spots to block my name. So yeah, this is the home screen. You can see all the games that I have on the PlayStation 4. So there's Mortal Kombat, uh, Monopoly for whatever reason, Lego Dimensions, Ninjago, Infinity, and Dimensions. So yeah, that's the home screen of the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2, Slim, and PlayStation 1. I couldn't do the PlayStation 2 because of the, um, power, the power button isn't connected to it, so... Yeah, let's go ahead and um, come back to the desk. So yeah, that was all of the uh, PlayStation consoles that um, my family currently has at the um, time of this video. But um, yeah, if you enjoyed, make sure you subscribe, like, turn notifications, comment, and share to friends, family, whoever you like. So yeah, bye for now.